Markets optimism surrounding Biden's Treasury pick, right in the following. Risk markets are celebrating Yellen in a way that suggests she's heading both the Fed and the Treasury. They're celebrating an easy money Treasury secretary, but technically the Treasury doesn't set monetary policy and it's supposed to not influence it. Jim joins us now for more. Jim, your early take, please, on what's about to develop, possibly in the next 24 hours and maybe even the next coming years. Yeah, I... Janet Yellen has not been appointed as the Federal Reserve chairman. That seems to be the mistake that everybody is making right now. I saw your interview about 20 minutes ago with Rich Mishkin, and I couldn't tell if he was promoting her for Federal Reserve chairman or for Treasury secretary. Those are two very different jobs. Her skill set is well qualified to be a Federal Reserve chairman. As a diplomat, as a chief economic negotiator, if that's what the Biden administration wants, her skill set is not Christine Lagarde's skill set when it comes to negotiating things like budgets or sanctions or tariffs or talking with other international world leaders. Now, she may grow into the job, but it's a big unknown right now. I think all Wall Street sees is easy money and that they're happy with this idea of easy money. So over the short term, they're going to celebrate this. But over the long term, there's going to be a lot of questions as to where she fits in that spectrum. Well, I think more importantly, Jim, it also means that they recognise that we can't have a premature declaration of success like we did last time around, both on the monetary policy side and I think as well on the fiscal policy side. Does that strike you as a little bit more constructive, the fact that someone who has been conditioned by the previous cycle, that knows they probably should have run it a little bit hotter, is now in a seat where maybe she can dictate policy on the other side of things? Yeah, you would hope so. And, now, and it comes down to a big question is the Treasury Secretary is an important part of the economic voice of the incoming Biden administration, but she's not the only voice as well, too. There is going to be some internal negotiation within the Biden administration is what exactly do they want her to do? What exactly do they want from the economy? And as everybody within the Biden administration on exactly the same page with Janet Yellen, and then will she go out yeah. and sell it as if it's part of her own policy? We'll have to remain and watch and see if that actually happens. Jim, I've got to say, a bit of a blind spot for me is the international outlook from the Treasury Secretary, if it is indeed Janet Yellen. We know a lot about the monetary policy story. We know a lot about the fiscal policy story. You can just read through the transcripts, the different interviews she's done over the years on that front. Jim, we've just had a drip feed of her views on trade. And I wonder how those views develop when you sit in a more political seat and you start to face the likes of China and Europe and elsewhere, what that relationship looks like. That's a big unknown. Not only do you have to consider that, too, but let's assume that the Senate stays Republican, and then she's going to have to articulate that with Mitch McConnell in the Senate as well, too, and try and strike a balance between all of them. If that's what the administration wants, as her being their chief negotiator in all of this, in addition to talking to the Chinese, in addition to talking to the Europeans, in addition to talking to the Japanese as well, too. So it's going to be something we don't know. We really don't know where she falls down on all of this. She's really not had to do that in any of her previous jobs. Doesn't mean she can't do it. It's just a giant unknown at this point. Perception is everything at this point then, Jim. There's so much we don't know, but you know the stories start to get told and the consensus builds and people start to get a firmer grip of those stories and they start to trade on them. And I wonder what kind of stories we're going to hear that will develop and maybe be reinforced in the months to come, Jim. One of the trades right now is a weaker dollar story. They take the news of the last 24 hours, they plug it into that trade and say more fuel for it. Does that resonate with you, Jim? Yeah, I think so. I think that the short term, over the next several weeks, is that they're looking at closer cooperation between the Fed and the Treasury, as I've even termed it, almost a merger between the two of them, <coughs> resulting in easier money, resulting in possibly a reversal of the Mnuchin by Trump CARES Act, taking the money back, sending it back. And that has been cheered by risk markets as we move forward from here. OK, I get that. But that's not the only thing that the Treasury Secretary does. And beyond, after that initial euphoric trade is over, then we're going to have to figure out what else she stands for and where else she's going to go.